what you'll notice is that my lovely assistant and TJ are handing out bottles of water. Please do not drink them. Why not? Because we're going to do something really cool in just a minute. Right? There's two. One is a control. The other is your subject. Now, I'm going to be, uh, let me have Zen and uh, his good associate once again, handing out one of these to each of our attendees. Six months ago, well, not actually closer to a year ago, I had the good fortune of meeting a man by the name of Bill Bankston, who actually came to me through the law of attraction. Bill had the good fortune early in his life to run across someone who is a, quote, natural psychic. But he was the kind of psychic who didn't want to be a psychic. He was the kind of guy that could do shit, but really didn't like the fact that he could do shit. And uh, this story is written in a book called The Energy Healing. Now today is not a class on energy healing, but Bill uh, acquired some things from this gentleman, then was Benjamin Miriam, I believe the, uh, his name. And uh, he spent the next 30 years trying to figure out why this shit works or how it works, or even if it does work. 30 years, he's still a skeptic, which is good. And there's nothing wrong with being a skeptic. The problem is, is that most people are just itching to be someone who calls bullshit under the term skeptic. Skeptic just means that you don't know. Or as opposed, that whereas most of the time, people who say they're skeptics have already made up their mind that what you're going to tell them is bullshit, and they're just waiting for the opportunity to tell you. But what Bill did, was he wanted to find out just how broad and what this particular power that Ben had unlocked was capable of. And it turns out Bill had a very, very, uh, had a proclivity of being able to heal many different types of illness, but especially cancer. And so Bill, in his enthusiasm, went to medical school after medical school after medical school and literally gave thousands of rats cancer. Rats bred to die from cancer and cured them utilizing his particular method, which has two rules. This is the manual. You ready? Hold on, I gotta erase this. Bill 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 And if you get a chance to study with Bill, do it. He's a funny, funny guy. He's also the president of the Society for Scientific Exploration, which are all Stanford, Harvard, Princeton, PhDs, who are engaged in the study of anomalous scientific events, things that don't fall within the paradigm of normal scientific. So there's a lot of research, a lot of remote viewing, a lot of remote healing, a lot of interesting stuff going on. But Bill, the Bankston Energy Method probably has over 30 years, has 30 years of documented clinical trials on mice with an, uh, an extremely high cure rate. All done by people who didn't believe in energy healing. So this isn't about belief, it's just about engaging in the process. Does that make sense? But that's not really what I'm here to talk to you about tonight. Because every now and then, we're so busy looking for gold and missing the oil. Mm -hmm. We don't see it, because we look for what we, we find what we look for, and sometimes that those blinders cause us to miss something else. I was at a training with Bill. And he started talking about how he was teaching his particular energy healing method. He talked about this process called image cycling. Now, there's a million different ways to do image cycling, which goes back to the two rules of the Bankston method. You must be able to do these. You must be playful. Avoid ritual. So if you're engaged in an energy healing discipline that says, first I must contact my higher self, and then I must touch my forehead, my heart, and rub my pee pee a little bit, and then I bring the energy in, and you can't do your energy healing without the ritual, you're not doing basic. Does that make sense? So you can do this any way you want, as long as you follow these two rules. Be playful and avoid ritual. The secret to behind the Bankston healing method is completely selfish, aren't it? And this is what I mean. 
Bill would have to sit for hours on end to do his healing on these rats. And they would all line up in the cage, put their butt right up against his hand, or wherever the tumor happened to be. When, it was, when they were done, the next rat would come up and they'd just in single file. And when all the rats were done, they'd just go hang out, do whatever they did. And Bill would spend most of his time bored off his ass. Because this is, this is what Bill did. There's a picture of Bill in the, in the book doing healing, and it kind of looks like this. This is my life. I went to Cornell. I got a PhD in sociology. I'm rubbing rat ass. <laughs> so he had to come up with a way to, to keep in the process, but get people out of the way. And that's the secret to this. There's a part of you that does, and there's a part of you that thinks. In Chinese terminology, we call that wu wei, or no mind. So there's a part of you that allows the healing to come through, allows the energy to come through. And there's a part of you that does all the thinking. There are two distinct parts of you. Okay? And so what Bill created was this idea of image cycle, whereby you would cycle through things you really, really wanted for yourself. Maybe a vacation in Cancun or getting large fat paychecks. Or, yes. Right? Or you know, a hot new date or a new, a new business and best selling. Whatever it was that you wanted, you would just cycle through anything that was emotionally provocative and something that you really wanted. And that's what you would just cycle through over and over again while doing your healings. And it was a way to, to get the person, the, the person doing the healing, get their conscious mind out of the way. They're two separate processes. The cycling is different from the healing. Right? But it opens the channel and allows that stuff to come through. And he actually had uh, Gauss meters and magnetometers and all these things in the room while these healings were going on. But they found out for most of the time there was a chaos pattern in the room. And then every so often, for like a, a one or two minute interval, everything would organize. The entire room would just completely organize and they would just start, and the healings would start. And it would go back to normal. So these things are somewhat weird. But that's not the cool part. Remember, tonight is about the law of attraction. So when Bill was teaching us this process, was, oh, by the way, yeah, and, and just as an offhand, oh, yeah, by the way, all the things that you, that you cycle through, they're going to manifest, so be careful. Like what? I said, Bill, you mean to tell me that when you do this initially while you're healing somebody, that that stuff's going to manifest? He goes, yeah, but be careful, because if you try to change someone's behavior, you'll change them, even if they don't want it, but they'll screw it up. I said, Bill, did, I just hear, did you just tell me that you can do this on somebody who doesn't want you to do it, and it'll work? He goes, yeah, but don't do it, because they'll find a way to screw it up. I said, Bill, did you just tell me, <laughs> right? Bill had discovered oil while everybody else was looking for gold. I have tested this program. I have tested this process. It is the single most powerful manifesting technique I have ever seen. Okay? But there are some parameters to it. Okay? And we're going to go over those and then we're actually going to do it. It's called the energy cure. Okay? So, why not ask, why the water? Well, every control, clinical trial needs a control and an experiment, right? Well, let's find out. Now, here's the cool thing. In your sheets, you'll see a list of 20 things. You can have up to 24, you can have more. Here's the way this works. Now, we won't have time to do every single thing. So we're going to start with 5 to 10. Up as many as 15 just for the sake of uh, brevity. And the way this works is you list 1 through 15 things that you want. So let's say you want uh, a seven-figure business, right? So what you want to do, though, is you want to, you know this idea of carry past in martial arts, we say we want to break the board. We have to focus beyond the board. 
right? You guys understand that idea? Yeah. When we're doing this particular process, we have to carry past it two or three degrees. So let's say you want to make a million dollars through your new business or whatever it is. What you need to do is you need to go beyond the one million dollar mark to the result of the result of you getting that one million dollars. And that's the image of the energy that you have to have. It has to be something that emotionally compels you. Understand? There has to be a feeling. Like when you think about it, it's like, yes, I want that. Right? And then what you can do is you can distill that down to a word or an image. And you list that in your word section. Like yacht. Could be. Yeah. But again, the whole idea is when, when you're creating this, you want to flesh it out. You want to be in it. Make the picture bigger. Turn up the volume, wrap it around you. Oh, you know what stuff we did earlier might actually be useful for this? Because it's the emotional amplitude that drives the vibration. Does that make sense? Follow me? So what you're going to do, list 1 to 15 of things that you want. So one of them, here's an example just to understand what we're going with this. If, for example, um, I want to make a million dollars, in my business, okay? Then I want to think about what what's going to be a natural result of me having that one million dollars. Well, it might be that I bought a new home, right? And it might, and I might see a picture of myself pulling the for sale sign out of the out of the ground as I take ownership of my new home, which presupposes I've already gotten the million dollars. Does that make sense? So we want to carry two or three degrees past the achievement of what we're, what we're manifesting. Does that make sense? Yes? Well, what about for health? Same thing. So, like I said, getting specific, could I just say health? Um, I would get health to be specific. So, can you give me an example of what that would look like? What it would look like? Well, like, like visualizing myself doing something that would be yeah. where optimal health. Yeah. Optimal what, what, what level of health do you want? What activity would meet that? And then one degree beyond that. So maybe you want to go rock climbing, right? Up Everest or something, right? Which you might want to actually go rock climbing on Everest, so be careful with that one. Right? The other thing is, is when these things manifest, as soon as they manifest, you must cross them off your list. Because if you keep manifesting with old stuff on your list, it will demanifest. So you have to prune your list on a regular basis. Follow me? Now, I will warn you about this. This is not a suggestion. I'm not preloading you. Uh, when Richard, or not Richard, when, uh, when Bill was talking about the effects of this particular range of frequencies, and as well as um, his associate, I forget her name. I wish we could get what I'm talking about. She runs Equilibrium Energy out in Chicago. Uh, Reiki is a, a lot of people asked about Reiki. Reiki is a gentle, loving, kind, nurturing, healing, soothing, maternal energy. Thanks to the jackhammer. It comes down through your left hand and it will blast over the chi channels. And uh, more often than not, you will go through an extreme healing crisis. It will actually accelerate the disease process until the disease reaches a point where it just implodes. If you look at the pictures and you'll see the energy here, what you will see is tumors getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and at some point they just implode. And in days they're gone. As if they've never been there. Okay? And if you look at the same tumor in the control mice, what you see is that the, the control mice are all emaciated, they're dull, they're listless, they're just laying there. These these other mice that are getting the, the treatment, the tumor is as big as a freaking golf ball on them too, but their eyes are bright, they're running ramps, they're playing on the wheels, and then all of a sudden, at some point, <laughs> it just goes. So I teach, I'm not allowed to teach Bankston or Bill's method, but I'm not allowed to certify in Bill's method. So I've incorporated a lot of what I've learned from Bill into my curriculums, but I always try to give credit to where I learned it. And I, if you do get a chance to, to work with Bill, you know, please do so. He was kind enough to share this information, um, and it's too important not to let it out there. So, the 
first thing you're going to do, if you want to do this, how do you want to do this, Regina? Okay. Fill out your sheet. 15 things. Make sure the things that you really emotionally want. So, well, so we find the word of what is in the list card. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Yes, sir. Okay. Bigger home. Okay. Okay, so when you think of a bigger home, okay, close your eyes. See the home. Now, is this, um, what would be your results of having that bigger home? What would be something that would be only possible because of that bigger home? What would, be only, what would only be possible because of that bigger home? Increased income would be possible because of the bigger home. Oh no! See, what you got here is a bigger home, but what's that going to enable you to do? Okay. So, how would you see that as providing more shelter and home and comfort for your family? See, what you need to think of is the result that we want forms the base or the foundation, and then we go two or three degrees past that. As we continue to expand, we focus on that. So we carry you past the initial. So if, if, if I were going for a bigger home, then um, I would probably think, that, again, this is David, but if I'm thinking for a bigger home, I would probably see all of my children having their own room, right? You know, being comfortable and happy, me not having to have my office in my garage, you know, instead of having my own den and everything. And I would see all the rooms that having that bigger home would give me. So you notice that it's not the attainment of the bigger homes, it's all the extra rooms in the house, and what that, and the comfort level that it gives me, right? Is that two steps further, or just one step? To me, that would be about one step further, but I, once I started thinking about the kids, I started getting real selfish. I said, I want to get out of the garage. Uh -huh. And that's the point. These are selfish. You do not have to be altruistic at all. In fact, we entirely discourage it. Be as selfish as humanly possible when you do this. You can't do it. Do you need to, you need to write out each thing or just like see what it would look like? I would write them out. Always write them out. Yes. I'm going to go right out later. You can start with something now. You can always clarify. You can always add some track. Yes. Do you preface the, at the beginning? Do you just write the list and say, oh, I want that Mercedes Benz or joke? Uh, or do you say, I want that Mercedes Benz? Or do you say, I manifest? Do you, I'm saying that. Okay. You see the movie, you step into it, and then you go two or three degrees beyond. So you're driving in. So you can see yourself buying the Mercedes Benz. You can see yourself taking it on a trip, right, to some cool place in your Mercedes Benz. So that would be like one step, two step, buying it and then seeing yourself in it. Yeah, and you would focus on the end result of the end result, okay. right? Remember, we're always carrying past what we want. So when I was creating things, I saw myself getting off of my own rear jet and being picked up by my chauffeur and my personal assistant because I had so many places that I needed to be, so many engagements I needed to speak at, and things like that. Right? So presupposed I had the one million, you know, subscribers and product buying products and services and things like that. And here's the thing. Within six, I'm gonna tell you this is a true story. Within six months of learning this process. I had more money in the bank than I had ever made in any of the previous 10 years. That includes paying all my bills. I am not kidding when I tell you what this thing will do, but I'll tell you what, it will make you change though. Remember I said you can have anything you want, but first you had to become the person to whom that thing can happen. So be prepared. You unlock this box. Life's going to get really dramatic, okay? But it will be for the good. Yes? What the image is blurry? You just keep focusing on it until it gets... If the image is blurry, then there's either, you either change the, the, uh, the proximity to it to clarify the focus or find out why it's blurry. Is there some reason that says you can't have it? Okay. Many times when, it's, when, it's, many times when you have a blurred image, it's because there's a, the difference Clinically, what I've seen is a difference in the conscious time frame for it to manifest and the unconscious time frame. 
And if you actually put a little, create a little construct that allows you to consciously and unconsciously and consciously calibrate, you can actually find the time frame that the unconscious mind thinks it'll manifest. But that's a different, different tactic. We're going to get real nuts and bolts real quick. Okay. Cynthia's really going to town here. I want to read. I don't know how to tell. Yes. Okay, what would having that money do for you? And then I feel like everything that's going to be a result of that. Right, that's how I'm feeling too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the thing. If you're going for money, money's not a bad thing, okay? But here's the thing. Money is a means to an end. So what is something that is going to manifest as a result of that money? And then just keep listing all the different things. And then what's the result of the result? So let's say, uh, going back to the car example, I get a million dollars to buy a new Mercedes. All right, so I've got the new Mercedes. What am I going to do with the Mercedes? Am I going to take it on a trip? Am I going to imagine showing it at a car show? Or you know, it doesn't really matter. It's also it's all selfish, right? As long as there's a sequential extension of it, right? So, uh, but we want to carry past it. Did, did I help to answer your question? Or did I just confuse the issue? Put those out of your mind. Okay. The secret to banks is simplicity. Because my, my issue is that I want I'm building my own business mm -hmm. and I want to quit my job. Mm -hmm. So do I focus on quitting the job because the results of my business is going to be coming? But I feel like focusing on quitting the job. You're focusing on the process rather than the outcome. Right. You focus on the outcome. So want, the outcome of the outcome. So if I want to, if the outcome is me quitting my job, is that what I'm focusing on? Be careful with that, though. But here's, here's what I found, is that if you focus on quitting your job, that job will end somehow. <laughs> that job will end somehow. Right? So again, this is why we have to think a little bit about what we want. Right? This has nothing to do with the love traits. This is a very different part of the syllabus tonight. This is a manifesting tool. Yes? Can you use the same word for more than one thing? Probably. Okay. And so, okay, so now if I want to manifest my person, like, what is the key person? The two of you being happy, okay. going places, doing things, and just becoming more and more of a unit over time. Okay. But see yourself in various, you know, years, mm -hmm. and that process just continuing to deepen. Because the theme is, the right person and continue to grow, right? right? We don't focus on Mr. Right, we focus on staying Mr. Right. Yes, sir? So, can you still focus on it? It's blurry. It's blurry. It's blurry. It's blurry. It's oh, my, my experience has been is if you can't, if you, if you don't have a clear picture of what you want, you probably want to have something else. What's that? That's because it's too simple. That's because it's too simple. You're smart that this shit should be harder. Here's the secret. Nothing that works is ever difficult. Or complicated. Doesn't mean it's always easy. It's usually simple. Yes, Carlos. One is, I've been studying internet marketing for nine years, but I want a successful internet marketing business that came up with freedom. But that sounds too simple. Why? Freedom. In other words. What's freedom going to do for you? Well, it'll free me up from it. I always to worry about certain, I'm a, a contractor also. So okay. I'm always worried about, you know, having to be at, on time and with other people on there. So flip it around. What would be possible with that freedom? To do whatever I want, whenever I want. And can you picture yourself doing whatever you want, whenever you want? Yes. And when you picture yourself doing whatever you want, whenever you want, what exactly are you doing when a picture comes up? I'm happy. That doesn't answer my question. What are you picturing? What are you picturing? Doing where, wherever I want to go. That doesn't tell me anything. What are you fucking doing? Going to the store. You're going to the store. Yeah, with my girlfriend. With your girlfriend. Okay. As long as the parameters are, it's a result of the freedom that you got from starting your internet marketing business. You're getting your internet marketing business on it, then it's fine. My point is, though, if I keep asking you when you see yourself doing whatever you want and you can't tell me, that tells me you don't fucking know. 
And if you try to manifest something you don't fucking know, you're going to wind up with something else and not know it. Figure that one out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. All right, so I put uh, one of the things on the list, see the world, and then the words travel. Should I switch that up? Hey, <laughs> see the world and travel? Yeah, I put the word as travel, and then the list as see the world. What should I put on the list travel? Which has a call, which, which is the causal relationship? Which one precedes the other? Guys, don't over, don't over, don't beat this up. You guys are out. Seriously, you complicate a bowel movement. <laughs> so, land. Land. Especially here in Southern California. You want to own land? Yes. Okay. So, but you didn't say that, you just said land. Well, that's about one word, right? So I see here's, land. here's the secret to this. This is something I don't, I don't, I don't ever hear it. Should anybody talk about When you, if you cannot put what you want on a piece of paper, you don't know it well enough. Which is why you're not manifesting it. You must express this through your physicality for it to become real. Yes? Okay, so for the land, the open space, then building a home. Beautiful. Picture. Yes. There it is. See? Now we're talking. That's how it works. I get, you know, it's like Al Pacino. First, you get the money. Then you get the power. Then you get the payment. <laughs> There's a causal relationship. Ready? Don't think of the, you know, the thing you want to manifest. That's a foregone conclusion. There are other things that are going to manifest as a result of getting that. Focus on those. Yes. Um, so say you... Um, say I want a 25% body fat. 25% body fat. So, so you want somebody to come in with a 25 pound bag of body fat? There you go! No, yeah, okay, so then that's not, I want my body to have 25% body fat. Okay, why? Because it's something I've been working towards. To do what? Because I feel good. To feel good? I feel yeah. good. I've lost 13 pounds, I had all my, my vision board, all these people, and everything just came, and I feel so good after I work out, and it's the strength, and it's getting there. But I don't want to be a bodybuilder. I just want to go to 25%. Do you focus on getting the strength? Yeah, the strength. That's, that's a result of the result, isn't it? Yeah, and I want, like, you. Yeah. I want to be able to and when you, now, when you make a picture of yourself with that strength, what does that look like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't grow up. What do other people, what other people yeah, see when you're in that feeling? They Notice and have noticed over the day. Everybody has noticed that my body has changed. Now, so once you have that, what becomes possible? Anything. Pick something. Well, the car. I'm focusing on the new car. Wait. Okay, so having the 25, the, the being strong and having a strong feeling is going to get you the car. No. <laughs> well. So you, you jump to a different thing. Oh. I want another link in the chain. Oh, okay. So you've got the body, you've got the feeling, you've got the strength. What comes after that? Okay, that's, so that's how that works. Yeah. Okay, see, I didn't... It's a chain. It's a link in a chain. But how about the word? Whatever word gives you the best feeling. It's about feelings. Hmm. If you don't have an emotional investment in this, you aren't playing with the mechanism God gave you. Your emotions are designed to teach you how to tune and change vibration. They are something you are designed to use, to control, to generate and modulate at your will, not let them run your life. That's the magic of your emotions. Yes? Okay, so for us, like you've been talking about the health one and having these ideas, I get to be able to accomplish something. Mm -hmm. But what if the end result is just feel good? Can we just have a picture of ourselves and the body we like, skipping down the street with a big smile? When, like, sure. is that enough to feel good, or do I have to be meditating in? You know, no. Right. So feel good is fine. No, feel good is fine. Okay. No. As long as it's what you want and you know what you need. Remember, these are the only two rules. Be playful. Avoid ritual. Alright? You don't have to breathe in through your
your left nostril, out through your right nostril, double load, and throw it in your front face or something. You're not doing this stuff. Alright? Just be playful. Think about it. Really, the process is kind of like just daydreaming about all the things you really want. It's pretty much what it is. Huh? You're ready to go, aren't you? Alright? We okay with this? We ready to rock and roll? So here's how it works. Image cycling is where you take each of these things and you close your eyes and you imagine them one at a time. And then you still, and as, as, time, as time goes on, you start to cycle faster and faster. So it's like a PowerPoint on the culture speed. And what will happen is, as your speed, the speed at which you're cycling through those images picks up, you'll reach a little, all of a sudden it's hitting against the ceiling. And at some point, it's like going into hyperspace. You'll just know it's spinning, but you won't be able to consciously drag it anymore. Okay? That's how it works. So we're going to be graduated in our approach. We're going to do this uh, with the first five, and then we're just going to keep building up. Okay? Everybody got at least one through fifteen? How many you got? Well, one through ten is good. Remember, if if I start one, one, you know, fifteen, just start over with wherever you at. We could do this with just five and just keep cycling over and over. It doesn't matter. We've had people have as much as seventy-five different things that they're cycling at the same time. Okay. It doesn't matter because this is not a consciously mediated process. You are not going to do anything. Remember that the image cycling process is not. The channeling process. The Bengston field is a negative entropic force. Negative entropy means it moves, makes things move towards a higher order. It's an anti-chaos formula. Okay? Negative entropic formula. Negative entropy. Okay. I can say that's the physics major. Okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five. If you're wondering if this shit works, I've been in bed for the last three days. Sick as a dog. <laughs> Put your water bottle in your left hand. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> Let that breath out to the side. Look down at your sheet and call up your very first image. See what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt. Find a relaxed posture. Just you don't have to hold it up like this or whatever. Just find a relaxed place. It doesn't really matter. See that image big and bright. Feel those feelings come flooding back of you having those things. That might be a big part of your life. And then when you've got that, move on to image number two. See what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt. Notice where you feel it in your body. Three. Let the feelings come up. The feelings get stronger. Four. Stronger and stronger. Be selfish. It's all for you. It's all about you. Five. Back to image number one. Image number two. Image number three. Image number four. Image number five. Back to image one. Two, three, four, five. One, 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 two, three, four. Faster. Cycle faster, stronger, make pictures bigger, faster, even faster. You'll notice the point at which you can't consciously track it anymore. Let them spin beyond that point. Spin faster. Spin it faster and faster and faster. Faster and faster.
you guys think you're trying to pass a load? <laughs> Have fun with this. Remember, first rule, be playful. Make those images nice and juicy. If you're not having fun, you're not being effective. Spin them faster. Double the spin. Double the speed. Does that sound familiar? Double the force. Double the magnitude. Keep doubling it. You may notice some of you start yawning. That's because your nervous system's changing. Keep doubling it. That's it, Cynthia. You got it, kiddo. Keep doubling it. Faster, faster.
50. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. I hope you guys have this bottle in your left hands. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Faster. Faster. Warm. 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 Warm.
molecules are aligned. Does anybody know what molecular alignment tastes like? <laughs> That's a new one for me. You guys are very scientific. Like, yeah, I just say softer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What? There. You notice. Made you fuller. Did you notice? Warmer. Okay. Has a tingling energy too? Did you notice? It tastes different? Horseshit. <laughs> really? It's denser. It's denser? Is there a distinct difference regardless of how it manifests? Yes. Yes. It's warmer. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You did that, not me. And it just gets better. Okay? Now, be warned that sometimes when that charged water hits your system, you'll start to heal. Which sometimes manifests as old things that you thought were long gone, coming back to haunt you for a little bit. And then they go away and they don't come back. Because Bankston's not the gentle, loving, Reiki energy that we've come to know and love. It's, gonna, it's the tough love of the energy healing that we heal. Okay? Jake, what'd you notice? Uh, clear. Clear? Distinctly different or not? No. Not distinctly different? It's clear, like cleaner. Cleaner? Okay. Yeah, there's a qualitative difference to it. Right? Some people, some people that actually gets colder, the one they held actually seems to get colder. Did you notice him? Colder. Colder? <laughs> He's not a plant, trust me. Alright. And that's how you do it. Any other variation is just a variation. Right? You can cycle as many things as you want. You must monitor your list though because as they manifest, you've got to take them off the list. Or you'll intend intentionally demanifest the things you want. Would you notice it? Yeah. I had a girlfriend who hated the taste of low energy work. <laughs> now, just for grins and giggles, find people who, whose cooties you don't mind sharing. Taste their work. And notice how it's different from yours. Because they're identified at the same level as the problem. So 
So there's such a thing as charging monks, charging water. Oh, hell yes. Holy water. That's what this is. This is holy water. <laughs> it's the same exact problem. It's a different process, same idea. Water is designed to hold charge. It is infinitely programmable. Just like consciousness is programmable. It is a yin phenomenon. It is a receptive phenomenon. Energy without instruction is impotent. Energy without instruction is impotent. There must be some kind of will and intention to inform the energy so it knows what to do. Otherwise, it will just do what it does naturally, which is usually sink to its lowest level. Say that again about the instru You said energy without instruction is... Impotent. <laughs> Think about the energy as, as we commonly understand it, like a DVD or a CD. The CD is what's important. It's the information encoded on it. True or not true? The DVD player, the CD player that you use to play the DVD doesn't care what's encoded on the DVD, does it? It just cares that it's the right format, and it's written in a language that that DVD player understands. Well, that's how your mind and body work. Your body, your nervous system is the DVD player. The energy is the CD or the DVD. And the information encoded on it is the structure and the language that your neurology knows that reads what to, on what to do and how to do it. The discipline that gave us the language of that is NLP. That's where NLP fits in in the same Understanding the language that is imprinted on that energy, that vibrational matrix, and knowing how to insert it into the player, we can make the player do whatever we want it to do. Yes? So I noticed that when you have to be going faster and faster through the list, that a lot of times it, all the pictures kind of merge. Yep. So that is... That's fine. So I'm like doing this to this to this yep. all in one. Yep. Yes. Fine. If you get nauseous, just don't throw it on me. Yeah. <laughs> no, if, 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 if you, you won't get a little bit of a vertigo sensation a lot of times. Um, because what's happening is it's like it's spinning and spinning, and there's a certain velocity at which the vibration has to change outside of conscious awareness. And you get that little vertigo sensation. If you just spin it fast, you go into that next level. Well, you still know it's spinning, but you will consciously track it. You want to, you, you, the, the, the most important part of the process is the creation of the list. Number, how are you creating that list? Which part of it? Consciousness. It's coming out through your conscious mind, isn't it? Which means what? It's already passed through every single filter in your neurology before it can come out. Right? The most important part is getting it through the entire funnel and out onto a piece of paper and externalized. Once you have it externalized, you create a vessel for that energy to fill. Okay, now, if you need to know all that. All you need to know is to get it out on paper so you can see it, and then once you start spinning, you reach a point where it's too fast to track. Keep spinning it. And just know it's happening. And then set it and forget it. Once you do your recycling for however long you're going to do it, and then stop. Now, the best part is Bill told us is you can actually use emotion, other emotions to fuel your cycling. So let's say you're in traffic, somebody cuts you off and you get really pissed off. You can use that energy to speed up your spin. Use the energy of power. You just send it up there and use it to, to cycle faster. So instead of letting, letting it run muck in your body, Channel it into your image cycling and it will enhance your image cycling. So it won't like put now a negative connotation to it? No. Nope. Same nope. with fear, sadness. Emotions are energy. That's all they are. And we have the, the, the system to modulate the frequencies of that energy. As you move them up through the higher centers, they change. That's chakra theory 101. Yeah. Uh, so. As I was going through my list, 
I had to create an image in my mind, and then you go so fast, I forget the, I couldn't get the image. I and I forget what my list was, and I'd have to look at it. Um, That's fine. Is that normal? Now here's the cool part. I mean. How many times during that process did you even really think about the water in your hand? Oh, not at all. That's right. And the three most important things kept coming up. And it was like. That's no always happen. Remember, however your system does it, it's perfectly okay. Just remember the two rules. No ritual and no play at all. If you're not having fun, you're not being effective. But it still works then? Okay. Cool. <laughs> it works. You just proved it. True, not true. True. Yes. Who would have thought that changing the taste of water without using sugar or coffee would be such a big deal? Yes, Carl. You said this multiply, just this technique, multiply that many times your income using this, this what we just did. I, I had a minor heart attack last June when I looked at my, what was in my bank account. And I looked at my previous 10 years tax returns because I had more money in my bank account than I made before taxes in any of the previous 10 years. And I don't remember how it happened. Okay. This will increase the amount of serendipitous events in your life. Things will just start to happen. If you become too married to exactly how you're it's supposed to manifest, you'll miss it. This is kind of why I covered the luck trades first. You have to be the kind of person to whom these things can happen. And part of that is being able to recognize when things are being manifested for you as opportunities. Someone had a question? Oh, I was just curious since you had said that you had the same image of you on the jet. I was just wondering if that had happened. Not yet. <laughs> but other things have. Other things have. And again, it's not, again, there's no time and space or I don't put a time limit on these things. Yes. Do you have your original list in your class in New York? Yes. You mentioned in the beginning about bringing more energy into an identity. Mm -hmm. um, if it's an identity that's something that hasn't you haven't seen or hasn't had you haven't had experience of, how can you have a good picture? If you have the concept of it, you have a section in your unconscious mind where that image and that energy is already stored. What you need to do now is send the nourishment to it so that it grows. So you know the first. In order for you to be able to uh, acknowledge something, you first have to have the concept of it somewhere inside of you. You can't recognize something that's not inside of you. Right? So however greater or lesser uh, that, that attribute may be, the fact that you can recognize it means there's a part of you somewhere that already owns it. You just have to nourish that seed. How do you see an image of freedom? You don't. Because freedom is a means to an end. So you, oh, so you see past it. See, many of the things that we see as end states aren't. They're means to something else. If you're going through the world just, and you just say, well, I just want to be happy, you ain't going to be shit, you're going to be broke. Okay? Because happiness is what you get after you satisfy desires. Happiness doesn't make you do anything. Think about how hard you work when you're not happy. Then you get something, and you're happy, and what do you do? You stop. Okay? Happiness is dead state, and states don't move the organism forward. They don't move us forward. So if all you want is to be happy, I can, I can do that. I can make anybody turn into a couch potato. Right? We don't start taking action until we become unhappy. And then we start moving towards the things we want because we recognize we don't have it. Can't have one without the other. So, as much as we want to manifest and learn all these cool things, sometimes we've got to go places we don't want to go to become the person we truly need to be. Does that make sense? Now, it is uh, 20 minutes to 10. I've already kept you here a little bit longer than I wanted to. Did you guys have fun tonight? Yeah, yeah. 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 If you had a good time, please post good things to meet up. If you didn't, please post to somebody else's. <laughs>
couple of things we got coming up. For those of you who want to go even further down this rabbit hole, um, January 11th, 12th, 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 no, December 12th is our holiday party. Uh, everybody come out, lots of free food. I'll be making a guest appearance or two. Um, Tracy has that information. Uh, Tracy, what is Secrets of Personal Transformation again? January what? January 16th, 17th, 16th, 17th, 18th? January 16th, 17th, and 18th, we've got a three-day transformation workshop, which includes some of this training, as well as the whole identity by design process, which is teaching you how to reconfigure your identity from the build from the, from the ground up. It's a very powerful process. I use it clinically every day. Um, um, it's a three-day event. I don't have the flyers with me. And I normally give like a really cool discount, but if you guys come to the uh, the uh, the holiday party on the 12th. I will have flyers there for you. Get in, we'll get we'll the discount for you. Yes. Is the holiday party at 10 a.m.? Well, I actually don't know what time it starts. It said 10 a.m. on the meetup, and I said that's like breakfast. Tracy, when does the party actually start? 9 a.m. Is it 9 a.m.? No, we, we start seeing patients at 9 a.m. So, but you show up whenever you want to. Oh, so how long is it? Because I wrote that All day. Was nine to two. Oh, okay. I wrote down that I was going, but I said, I'm not being at 10 a.m. No, you're not. No, I won't even be there at 12 o'clock. Yeah, I'm more of a 12 o'clock. So, um, by all means, please book your consults with Tracy if you haven't done so already. It's free. I don't know that I can help everybody, but I, if I can help you, I will. If I can't, I'll tell you that too. And we'll see you very soon. Have a great night.